Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create possibly my favourite look I've done so far and that is a rose gold glitter eye. So to start off with, we're kicking it back old school and we are going straight in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. This is perfect for counteracting any darkness or discoloration and also works as a really great primer for eyeshadows and glitters. I just apply this all over and then blend it in with my damp beauty blender. So first of all I'm going in with um, just a really natural shade through the crease. This is going to be our transition shade and I'm using a really nice big fluffy brush for this and I'm depositing the colour through and then I'm blending it up and out into my brow. And I'm going all the way up with this because as you can see it's so natural you're not going to get a harsh line once all the other colours are on there. So next up we're going to mix, uh, mix the NYX, <laughs> that's hard to say, mix the NYX shades in Suede Dame and Happy Hour together on that same brush and I'm going to apply this directly through the crease and then once all the colours come off my brush I then start to work it upwards. This is going to give us a really good smoky crease without being too dark. I am going to keep this look really light purely because the glitters that I'm using are really light as well so it's going to be a really light but fresh glam look. So the first glitter I'm going in with are, is the pressed glitter in the shade Noble. All these glitters are from Glitter Queen's Emporiums. They are amazing, you need no primer, they just go on like eyeshadows, they are gorgeous. This colour that I'm next going in with is um, Golden Rose and I'm just applying this one with my finger. I have got a discount code for Glitter Queen's Emporium so if you check out the description box my discount code will be in there and it's just Abby10 and that will save you 10% off your order. So I found that putting it on with my finger works better than a brush, it just went on super quick and just stayed put, like I didn't need to blend it or anything, it was just done, easy. So the last colour I'm going to go in with is Royal Wedding and this one is going to go straight into the corner of my eye as that highlight and this is... I think this is my favourite of them all. I have a lot and this is my favourite. This is a pure white shade and it kind of reflects pinks, greens and blues. It's very iridescent but perfect for a really glam in a corner highlight. So for eyeliner I first went in with a NYX liner and this was their hot pink one. I can't really remember what it's called. Um, and then I'm going over it with the NYX mousse liner. The reason I did this was because I wanted it to have a slight hint of pink behind the liner so it wasn't just really bold black. But what I will say is going over the liquid with a gel was really difficult. So if you are going to do this go over it with a black liquid rather than a black gel or a black mousse. It was just coming off a bit chunky and not very nice. I also lined my waterline with this shade as well. So for lashes I'm using my new favourites and they are the Sync Holy Grails. Um, I'll leave links to all the products in the description box below. And then now moving on to skin, I'm just using my Chanel um, Illuminating Balm all over my face and then I'm going in with the YSL Ink Fusion Foundation. I haven't used this in so long because it's such a matte foundation but every so often I like to switch it up a bit. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then buff it in as normal with my Makeup Geek Buffing Brush. This is my favourite way to apply foundation, I just find it lasts really well. So then we're going in, as always, with my trusty um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. <laughs> I still can't get the names right. But anyway, I apply that underneath my eyes and then push that in with a damp beauty blender. By blending them all in with a damp beauty blender, you're giving it super major long wearing power. Like if you just buff it in, it's going to wear off a lot quicker, whereas this is actually pushing it and working it into your skin. So if you find that your concealer moves, then try this step because honestly, it will change the longevity of your makeup without a doubt. And then I always like to go in just with a detail brush just to get right in that corner of my eye, especially when we've got glitter on, we don't want to disturb anything. So I'm now going to bake under my eyes just the normal way so we're just applying a really generous amount of powder under my eyes and I'm using um, a Clinique one, this is discontinued, it's really old but I love it so I still use it and no reaction so far so I'm going to continue to use it. So this is just going straight underneath my eyes, you can bake the other highlighted areas of your face if you wanted but I prefer to just do under my eyes. And then as always we're going to set the rest of my skin with the Mineral Velvet Foundation by Amazing Cosmetics. This I just prefer this way just because I feel like I want to be more tanned than highlighted and contoured but if you prefer to be more highlighted then bake the other areas. And then I'm just dusting it away with a nice big fluffy brush just to make sure I'm not dragging anything or moving any concealer and also you'll be able to feel if it's nice and set. So my terracotta bronzer, the one I use every single day that you've seen a million times, it's giving in on me guys, it's just, it's giving in. But there's still loads left so I'm 
just pretending it's not broken. So we just keep going with it anyway. And as always, I'm gonna apply this straight through the three shape on my face. So we're going down the cheekbone, forehead, and jaw. And what I like to do is, as you can see, I really work my bronzer in because I like it, like I said before, more of a tan look rather than a contoured look. So I buff it in in those contour areas first, and then whatever's left of my brush, I'll buff over the rest. So I'll take a little bit under my eyes, over my chin, and then my nose as well. For highlighter, I'm going in with another Glitter Queens Emporiums product, and this is their highlighter in the shade Shimmer. This is gorgeous. It's a really light gold shade. It's beautiful. They also do one called 24 Carat that is gorgeous for a deeper skin tone, or for kind of like an NC30 onwards in MAC shades. It's gorgeous. So I just hit my cheekbones with this, also the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. For blusher today, I'm going in with Royal Sunset by MAC. I believe this was discontinued, but it's very similar to like Melba or any peachy shade will work really well, just to give a little bit of colour onto the cheeks. So just to finish off my eyes, I'm going underneath just with this light bronzy shade. I can't actually remember what this is called, but it's just a MAC one. Um, but any light bronzy shade will work, and I'm just buffing this into the waterline. So where the eyeliner is finished, I've then just blended that underneath to give it a bit of a smoky effect. For lips, I'm going in with my trusty Rosewood Lip Liner by Burberry. And then I'm heading on top of that with Cream Cup by MAC. Now you can absolutely leave this here. I loved how that looked on its own, but I'm going to top it off with a little bit of gloss. And the one I'm using is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu number no. 7. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and loved it as much as I love this look. This is definitely one of my favourites. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on other social media as well. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up too and I will see you in my next video. Bye!